Thank you very much. Everyone keeps asking me about that. But I still have to conclude my project. I'm going to complete this project according to the schedule and within the budget. But nevertheless, now that we are nearing the end of uh, our meeting, it's always very pleasant to show on particular examples of what progress we have achieved. It's particularly nice for me to speak about it uh, on the 80th anniversary of the company Norilsk Knickel because we made a number of strategic decisions uh, which make it possible to develop greenfield projects. And the Bistransky project is uh, just one of those projects. So I will speak very briefly, and I will just show you the slides which have been prepared. The Bistransky field is a first-class mining asset uh, very close to the Primoria region. It provides for the construction of uh, a mining processing plant, and the total cost is about 52 billion rubles. We have uh, funded uh, more than one half of that amount. I believe that this is the most successful PPP project uh, in Russia because we needed to build a railway. 25% was financed by Norilsk Nickel and uh, the rest uh, from uh, the pension fund uh, the railway is nearing completion. There is already some testing traffic there. And uh, this provided the basis uh, for finding some uh, new financial resources. Our investor is Mnesh Ekonom Bank. Uh, and uh, this is uh, a confirmation that the project is nearing completion. We actually got an eight year loan, which is uh, an additional confirmation of our success. It's a pity that they didn't mention the Baikal region as uh, one of uh, the mining and processing plants, as one of uh, the special development areas. Please look at what the Bistrinsky field map looks like. The slides are very small on those screens, and I'm not going to comment on them. But please look at the main stages of the Bistrinsky project development. There has been a long cycle of um, getting a lot of approvals. Uh, Kinross mentioned that they, it took them three years uh, to get all the permissions. Uh, it took us a little bit longer, but from 2005 till the 2017 are the years where the project was launched and where it will reach its completion date. I think that's a good result. This is the Chita project. We are following the schedule in terms of funding. We got the conclusion of an expert assessment commission of Russia. <clears throat> the top soil was removed on the two open cut mines, and currently some assembly work is continued. This is what our project looks like. Some pictures are already outdated and they look different. And that's always what happens uh, when uh, work is uh, carried out uh, on an open pit mine. In 2015, we financed uh, about 19 billion rubles. We provided this amount to build various facilities uh, and uh, the construction of a railway will be completed. 
that's uh, an important part of our investment project. And this is a major accomplishment. Uh, the construction of a power line will start according to our contract with Ross City. We had to find an agreement with uh, Ross City that we can really build this uh, power line using our own money. This is the status of the road construction. Our contractor is Lenovo. The previous one left this business, but this uh, didn't affect the uh, schedule. Going back to the results of the negotiations between the government and Norilsk Nickel, it was agreed that Norilsk Nickel will provide that 7 billion rubles, but when the construction is over, the Federal Grid Company will buy those assets out based on conditions acceptable for both parties. So this issue has not been settled fully yet, but I hope that we will be able to resolve it to our mutual sat satisfaction. Given the question you asked about the Cheetah region, we are indeed uh, discussing these projects with various foreign partners, and uh, we can do it uh, based on project financing, and we are also ready to consider the issue of attracting a strategic partner, or maybe we could sign a long-term offtake agreement. About a dozen of um, foreign companies uh, showed their interest. I'm not going to add anything here because we need to achieve certain results. And uh, the second stage in this uh, marriage process is um, moving on to some specific agreements so when uh, everything will be defined, determined much better. The significance of this project for the Baikal region, it's uh, more than 3,350 new jobs, and uh, the Russian budget will get an additional 500 billion rubles. Uh, it's also about the development of transport infrastructure. This incentivizes uh, the inflow of new investment uh, and contributes to the social and economic development in the region. A couple of words uh, about uh, how we are going to continue this project. We are looking for new promising fields along with this Cheetah project. And uh, we want to obtain a license uh, for geological survey in Moscow. This will result in the development of a mining cluster focused uh, on the southeast uh, of this uh, Baikal region, which is going to be particularly important for this. This is my last slide, thank you. But what I would like to add is that we are currently having a great and important uh, job uh, on making this project a regional one. We don't have the same problems as Al Rosa, and we don't have uh, obstacles. Uh, we're not facing the obstacles uh, which are being faced uh, by some other companies due to the Ministry of Finance. But we believe uh, that uh, accelerated development area should be created uh, in this region. There is nothing standing in the way. So in our case, we can do some, we can also create some uh, special development area based on the richness of our uh, mineral resources. There are some uh, technological areas uh, where we can work. I don't want to talk about benefits. Benefits are for old age pensioners and handicapped people and uh, with pe for people with disabilities. Uh, but of course uh, we could uh, 
use some instruments which would play a big role. So this is some food for thought as you are preparing for the next session. And now I would like to leave you. Thank you very much.